Hi, this is Julie Cohen, and I'm speaking with Lorraine Parker Clegg, Chief Human Resources Officer, most recently at Doncaster's and previously at Bristol Myers Squibb and Medtronics. And we're talking for three minutes max. Lorraine, tell me, what are the most important characteristics of a leader? Hi, Julie. Thank you. First of all, there are a number of attributes that I would say are desirable in a leader and that they should exhibit on a frequent basis. I've had the pleasure of working with many very good leaders, but the qualities that I see as being most important is an ability to coalesce a team around a common purpose and a common set of values. Alongside that, I think it's incredibly important that that leader is able to build a team that is diverse in perspective. And then with that diverse team on the field, it's very important that there is high inclusion of those perspectives in order to enable the team and to produce the most success for that organization. Great, okay. So you talk about team, what, what do you do um, if, if you don't supervise a leader? If I don't supervise a leader, can I still be a leader? Yeah, you know, this is something I get asked quite a lot in my role. And I think leadership can be exhibited in so many different ways. Um, the way that I've seen colleagues do this in the past is with things, I'll give a few examples if I may. First of all, volunteering to lead a project team. And sometimes people are voluntold by sponsors because they know the developmental needs that person has. But that's the first thing when you can get to lead a team, coalesce that team around a common project document, a common purpose together, and practice some skills that I think are absolutely important as you transition into management. And that's facilitating a team, again, of diverse people, sometimes older, sometimes younger, and making sure you're including those perspectives and learning to manage stakeholders, which is clearly very important as you progress in your organizational career. And I think other things I've seen people do are offer to lead employee resource groups. I have one example in my past of a tremendous team, the Young Professionals Network during my days at Covidian Medtronic. And we utilize that group from a management perspective as a sounding board for ideas. But for that group of people, it gave them experience and exposure that was quite different and representing themselves as a team leader. Got it. So I'm curious, what has made you most satisfied with your career? Yeah. There's my dog in the background, but we won't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. As you know, I am a big fan of four-legged friends. <laughs> but for my own career, I have had the absolute pleasure of being able to work internationally. So first of all, it's given me an acute awareness of the complexity and the need for diversity of thought and experience. I've uh, been in cultures that have been going through geopolitical change. I've had to adapt my way of working in those cultures. And for me, it's been about the variety of opportunities that I've had and the exposure to that very, very, very different world of just not the UK and just not the United States. That's great. Well, thank you, Lorraine, for sharing your expertise and insight for three minutes max. Thank you.